Hello, everyone. We're going back down to Iowa. We're going back down to the state that Caitlin Clark made. So we got one of the top 2027 in Midwest, one of the sharpest shooters in the Midwest. Let's have her go introduce herself. Hi, I'm Katie Muller. I'm a sophomore and I'm a shooting guard. Welcome, welcome. Once again, thank you for taking the time to do this. So we mentioned it. I want to start there. We said the state that Caitlin Clark made. You happen to go to the high school that Caitlin Clark went to. What is that like? <laughs> that has to be like, is that like a shadow just looming over like the school? Yeah, there definitely is a little bit of like a shadow over us, <laughs> but it's really cool to be able to play in the same place she played at because she set the standards so high and we're just here to follow them. And she's a great example to look up to that's super close to home. So Does she come back and visit at all and like come see the team and stuff? She's come back a few times when I was, I think before I was in high school, but the past few years she hasn't been able to. She's a little busy in the WNBA. She's a little busy probably. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. So we'll start with your basketball journey. What are some of your earliest memories of playing basketball? One of my earliest basketball memories is playing on a team in kindergarten that my mom coached. We were called the Crashers. Fair. And it was me, my sister, and a bunch of like my friends from school. And that was so much fun because I got to play with all my friends and we were really good back then. So that's one of my earliest memories. Fair. You're still pretty good now, I would say. But like, you know, back then it started <laughs> early. With, how's mom as a coach? Mom a fair coach or is she harder on you and Ellie? She was definitely a fair coach. Fair. She coached with my friend's dad and she was always the good cop type. <laughs> fair. Okay. Mom plays a good cop. Got it. We, we got that yeah. one. And so you said came in at Dowling Catholic. So last year we got to see you live up here in Minnesota, came up for breakdown. I think you guys are coming up here again this year. But And then we got to come down to see you at the Iowa State Tournament. You know, from your perspective in terms of a team and then your individual, how do you think the high school season went for you last year? I think it went really well. It was definitely a great way to start off my high school career. Mm -hmm. um, I think I improved a lot as an individual player and my team improved a lot. And I mean, we got all the way to the state championship game. So that was a really cool experience to have my first year and really helped me get used to big crowds that we had at the state tournament. So that really helped me a lot. So what was kind of like the people, you know, you have Ava Zedeker, you have your sister and stuff. What was maybe their message in going into state and kind of dealing, you know, going through last year kind of the, for the first time for you kind of, and then you get to state the first time. How did they kind of be the leaders and what was some of their messages to you? They definitely led our team and I just always looked up to them and I knew that if I was like really nervous, I could just talk to them about it because they've been in the exact same position as me and they just helped keep me calm during the games and told, gave me all these tips to just focus and play my best. So falling just short of a state championship, what are some of the lessons you learned at state and kind of on the, you know, on the road to state that you can bring into this year and kind of maybe hopefully get over the, you know, hump of getting back to state and then getting to the state championship? Yeah, I definitely learned a lot from last year. Uh, one of the main things is that, like, you got to play hard every game because you never know when a team's just going to, the team might have a great game and beat you if you don't play your best. So that was one of the main things I learned is that you always have to be 100% and you can never let up. Fair. And so any, I don't know if we have a high school season fully scheduled out yet. Any games you kind of have circled on the calendar that you're excited for or looking forward to for the upcoming season? I'm definitely looking forward to playing Johnston again because okay. they're the ones that got us in championships. So. That's a, that, that's a difficult team. Like that was, would have been a fun matchup last year at State to see. Yeah, it definitely was. Fair. And then, so then we talked about it, um, you know, talking about coming up to Minnesota. What was that like coming up, you know, starting up here in the breakdown tournament, kind of playing a different state? I think, does Iowa have a shot clock or no? We do. Okay, so th that wasn't too big of a change. Okay, making sure it wasn't too big of a change. What was that like coming up for, like, the breakdown event for you? Uh, it was really cool, and it was a great way to, like, start off my high school experience because I got to hang out with my teammates a bunch at the hotel, and we played against some great teams, so that really made us, I mean, starting off the season playing great teams is hard, so that really got us going and helped us throughout the season. Fair. I just wanted to ask one more thing about the Iowa State tournament. Do you players hear that saying "once an Iowa girl, always an Iowa girl" in like your sleep? Because it said like a th I was there for three days and I think I heard it a solid three hundred times. Like, do you guys hear that in your sleep after this tur state tournament? <laughs> yeah, it definitely just replays in my head. Fair. Okay. Okay. So not just us here on like the media row. Got it. Yeah. 
And then we go to the AAU. You play for a pretty historic program in AAU. All Iowa Tech's very well known, very well organized. It's one of like the best programs, not only in the Midwest, but in the country. What's it like for you representing all Iowa Tech and kind of playing for that historic program? It's definitely really cool. I mean, I'm always proud to wear a tack on my jersey, and I know there's a huge standard that I have to play up to every single game. So it's really cool that, I mean, Caitlin Clark and all those other players who played for a tack are great role models for us, and they've been through the exact same thing we're going through. So there's just a lot of support. Fair. And then what would you, how would you say, you know, playing on the EYBL circuit and then playing for All Iowa Tech, how has it helped you like grow in this last AAU season the most? You know, you talk about high school grew. You know, if you continue to kind of grow as a player, how has All Iowa Tech helped you grow the most in this last season? It's helped me grow a lot. I mean, when I got moved up to the 16U division, it definitely made me have to play stronger and learn the faster pace of the game. And I mean, everybody just got so much better. So that really helped me improve because I had to be like even 10% better every single game just to keep up with those older kids. And it was really a challenge, but it really helped me out. Speaking of Minnesota, there you have a Minnesota connection with Ari on 16U. Yep. That's a loaded team. You guys got a loaded team down there. (laughs) Yeah, it was really fun. And with EYBL, you guys are going all over the place, all over the country, multiple states here and there. Where are some of the best places you got to travel with AAU? One of my favorite places I went this year was South Carolina for the U.S. Open tournament Mm -hmm. because it was so beautiful down there and the tournament was really good and all the games were fun. Fair. And then what would you say is maybe your favorite moment or memory from, or maybe a couple of them from this last AAU season? Mm -hmm. My favorite memory, probably playing in the national or the UIBL national championship game because that was just a really cool experience having all like the big mm-hmm. crowd and all the announcers and everything and getting to play against a really great team was a really cool experience yeah they have a dj for that one they have like a dj off in the corner when you guys are playing i'm like man they're not paying i'm it's just a lot yeah timeouts are definitely difficult with the speakers just like blaring in our ears so. and it's like right there you guys have like your benches and the speakers right there i'm like they can't hear a word yeah it was definitely hard i just had to keep focused the whole time fair and so we talked about kind of i know we know you kind of maybe a little bit of a shooter but you know growing and stuff how would you describe yourself as a player right now to someone that hasn't had the opportunity to see you play i would say that i'm a big shooting guard and i mean i love to shoot the three but i've been working on my drives to the basket and finishing around the rim and i love to do some like turnaround moves at the rim so i've just developed my driving game a lot this year and that's really helped me a lot so how far is your range go out for three are we hitting half quarters are we hitting like the logo threes yet uh sometimes <laughs> not quite consistently yet but sometimes we'll get there hey you're just going into sophomore year we'll get there yeah <laughs> fair and then we'll do some quick hits or quick uh, quick hitters here what's your go-to basketball shoe i really like kds mm-hmm. the kd 16s Fair. Go to pregame meal. Probably pasta. Either like fair. So, so my mom makes or I love Olive Garden pasta. So yes, thank you. Unlimited breadsticks. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be help on the court, yeah. but I will help at the breadsticks. Fair. fair. <laughs> yeah. Go to pregame hype song. That's a difficult. One. I love a lot of songs. It definitely has to be something by Drake. Fair. Who's winning one on one? You or Ellie? Me. All day fair. me. Fair, okay. I'm going to ask her the same question, but fair. I like the confidence. Yep. Okay, okay. Game winning three, game winning and one. What would you prefer? Probably game winning and one because that just gets the crowd and everybody so hyped up. See, that one is harder. Like I said, cause I, I agree with you on that. There'd be so much like the hype, like the and one finishing the contact. I just don't trust officials. And so I, they have to make, be willing That's to actually true. call it because they, they're just going to be like, oh, darn, they finished it. We didn't see contact. It's like, no, no, no. I still got hit. Yeah, that's that's a good point. <laughs> Dream vacation spot. I'm going to go with Fiji. Yes. It's so beautiful there. Fair. Dream one-on-one opponent. I mean, probably Caitlin Clark. There we go. I don't think I'd win, <laughs> but... Hey, if you're both shooting from half court, no defense needs to be played. We're just going to see who hits more. 
Exactly. <laughs> Fair. And if we talked a little bit about her, is there, you know, besides maybe Caitlin, but is there any other WNBA, NBA college players that you maybe model your game after or really enjoy watching? Uh, I really love watching Luka Doncic. Or I don't know how to say his last name. Fair. But on the Mavericks, because he just has so many different like moves mm. that he pulls out every game, and he's so crafty, and I just love watching him. Yeah, as a Minnesota fan, that one hurts. No, <laughs> he beat the Timberwolves, beat the, but fair, fair. He said the craftiness you can't you can't knock it. It's amazing. And then hitting the threes over like Rudy Gobert. Oh, those are awesome! Right? Come on now. And so we've talked about one of the biggest names, not only in Iowa and the twenty seven class in the Midwest, that comes with some recruiting attention. You know, not necessarily specific schools, but how have you kind of managed and handled, you know, kind of the extra attention, extra pressure that can kind of come with that recruiting? Uh, it definitely is hard to manage, but I mean, I have Ellie that's going through the process with me, so it's really nice that I get to talk to her about it and we just go through it together. What's some of her best advice maybe in terms of recruiting? Because, you know, as her, the 26, they can kind of get to her directly. With you, they have a little more kind of like got to go through parents and coaches and stuff. What's maybe been her biggest piece of advice? Um, probably just that, like, whenever a coach texts you or calls you, like, always pick up. Like, always do your best to answer them and don't ignore them. So Fair. Okay, fair. And then in terms of recruiting, no, no specific schools or anything, but like, you know, when you're looking for these schools and meeting these coaches and talking to the players, what are maybe some of your like, like non-negotiables and kind of like when you're making your checklist, like what are some of the things like this school must check this box to be on my list? I definitely want schools that focus on academics because I'm really into academics and I like to have good grades and everything. And I also want them to focus on other things like lifting and nutrition because those are really important to me. And I think that all of those go into like being a great basketball player, like all the little steps help out, so. Fair. And then how would you describe Iowa ba- Iowa high school basketball or Iowa basketball to someone like, I said, I've been down there for the state tournament, you know, I'm up here in Minnesota, I'm not too far. How would you describe it to someone that maybe doesn't get to experience Iowa basketball? I would say it's super competitive, super fun. There's a ton of great players, and you're always going to be watching a good game, and it's always going to be a fun game. Fair. Well, I won't take all your night. I'll end with, I always end with this. When you kind of moving on to college, done with high school, done with AAU, what do you hope your legacy is that you leave behind in basketball? I definitely want to be somebody that little kids look up to and everybody you know, wants to be like and be a great example for everybody in. I just want to be known as like a great person on and off the court and just somebody that everybody wants to be like. Well, you're well on your way. It was an absolute joy to talk to you, an absolute joy to get to watch you play. I hope to get back to the state tournament next year. I'm guessing Dowling Catholic will be there again. We'll see the Muller sisters there. I said, I'm, oh, I want to see at least one like logo three at state tournament. Like if I'm sitting like at the media row, I got to see one three from there. I got you. I deal, got you. deal. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for this. You have a great night. Good luck this season. I think I'll be seeing you up at Breakdown and State. Good health this season. Cannot wait to see what you do this year. Thank you. Have a great one. You too. Bye. Bye.